Well, we're talking with Cochran. Cochran, congratulations. You are a lot richer right now than you were a couple of hours ago. It's unreal to me. It's an incredible feeling. Being a survivor nerd, a self-described survivor nerd who wears buffs, do you still wear buffs? I still own a collection of buffs. On, on occasions, I'll, I'll t take them out. I really wore them during high school, which is like, you know, social suicide, but I was that committed of a fan. Every Thursday back then, I, I would wear a, one or two buffs around my uh, arms. And the thing is, I had a dress code there, so it's like, I'm wearing a tie, I had a, I had a, I'm colorblind, so I'd ask my mom, like, does this buff match my tie? And I got in trouble because, like, you know, there's a dress code, and it's not proper to be wearing buffs around your arms. Um, but, you know, eventually became such a cartoonish character around camp, or around the school that they allowed me to get away with it. I think that was a meandering question or whatever you asked. No, that's all right. Any buff you prize the most? What's your most prized possession? Now, now it has to be the Anila Dom oh. buff, but, but, uh... <laughs> Well, although I, I told Malcolm, it said Madeline backwards. I said, do you have a girlfriend named Madeline or something? Oh. And he said, no, 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 which of course is technically true. But um, yeah, prize buff, I don't know. I, I have a soft spot for, um, I'm trying to think. I like the, the Drake Pearl Islands buff. For some reason, I wore that pretty frequently at school. I don't know why, uh, but it was something that, I don't know. But I, I think the, the Caramoan buffs are now, you know, my favorite. Do you have them all? I don't have them all. I know it's phony, but I have probably about between 30 and 40. Uh, there's a period at the very beginning uh, when I was in high school, I would get every single one for every single season. It drifted, I drifted away from getting it once I started college, and now I've started picking it up and getting every single one. So there's a few seasons that I'm missing, um, but maybe I'll, now that you know, I have a million bucks, why not, why not just complete it? Absolutely. Any Anything else you want to buy from the show? I know you before we started this, you said you want to buy your torch. Anything else you want to get? Well, I want to buy my torch, because uh, it was really cool. The set stuff was really cool. If I, I, I don't know if it's going to be on eBay or not. I'd love to get uh, the flame puzzle from the final immunity challenge if that's up for auction. It was cool looking and I, I mean I won it which is awesome. Um, that, that was probably that was one of the prouder moments I had out here winning that challenge. So if I could if I could get that that would be awesome. Now I think everybody in the crowd was rooting for you. Could you hear the studio audience tonight? Um, well there's a period where we couldn't hear you when we were just watching uh, for the first like hour and a half. Then we kind of went to this backstage area that was, you know, during tribal council we could hear cheering and stuff. And I, and I you know, it was great to hear fans cheering for me. I don't know if it's because they hated all the other options so much. I was the least of like, you know, five evils or what the deal is. But, you know, I'm fundamentally a huge fan of it. So to have other fans rooting for me, it's, it's awesome. It's incredible. I mean, it's a, it's a thrill. When you were, made it all the way to the final three against Sherry and Don, did you know when you went home you were going to walk away with a million bucks at the end of May? Um, so when I went into that final tribal council, I was not convinced. I thought wow. Dawn actually had, a, even though watching the show, it seems clear, you know, Dawn is an alienated people and backstab people. I thought she had a very compelling argument to make. She was the, the decision maker between a, a lot of, you know, really crucial decisions. People confided in her. And she's a very sympathetic backstory of six adopted kids. She's a sweet bread baking, you know, Mormon professor. I'm some obnoxious Harvard Law student. It's not like the most endearing character. And Sherry actually had a very compelling argument to make. Last fan remaining. Demographically, the sort of person that would usually be kicked off early. She managed to ingratiate herself with like a, a tight group of favorites. Um, once tri final tribal council ended, however, I felt pretty confident um, just because they, I, I, I got a lot of you know smiles in response to the stuff I was saying. And Don, obviously, was kind of torn apart. Sherry was really torn apart. But then, in the ten months since then, doubt did start creeping in because you know that's a lot of time for you to start second guessing yourself. And I felt pretty confident, but not as confident as I did the second that I left Tribal Council. But um, no, I mean, I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be unanimous. I, I thought there were a few votes that I, I hadn't locked up. Um, all right, last question for you. Are you picking up any girls now? I'm getting better. I'm getting better all the time. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm more successful. However, you want to define that. But I'm no Malcolm. I'm no Eddie. I'm not a Lothario. I just want like one girlfriend. You know, somebody I like, somebody I love. Uh, and you know, I, I imagine this will help. I hate to gesture to my check as I'm saying that. That's how. But that's a sad state of affairs. That this is the only thing that's going to help me out. But um, you know, maybe some more swagger, knowing that I'm you know a unanimous winner of Survivor. Not a single vote cast against me. One more challenge than anybody else. Come on, it's a pretty good track record now. Well, I think people have fallen in love with you. Honestly, I I, I think you will do fine, Cochran. It was very nice talking with you. Congratulations. Congratulations.